brass band correct perfect correct and perfect moose duo now there's a choice here you're gonna get two of these in either one of these choices we have one for dark hair and we have one for blonde hair and this is the first time that I've ever in my whole entire life seen a mousse that is designed to remove the brass based on your hair color so it's really really cool today we have it for you on six payments of just six dollars so if you choose the blonde um, you're going to or the dark you're gonna get two of the dark if you choose the blonde you're gonna get two of the blonde to go along with it. So Giles, obviously on Jamie, I'm assuming you're gonna be using the blonde. <laughs> That's correct, <laughs> yes. Okay. And I'll, first of all, I'm gonna show you the brunette and then I'm, I'm gonna show you the, uh, the blonde. Now the whole thing is about these mousses is they're, gonna, they're actually gonna restore the body and the bounce of your color treated hair. Cause when you color treat your hair, it's breaking down inside and it loses that elasticity and that bounce. It always falls like quite flat and it just kind of hangs there. So when you can actually use a mousse, now these are alcohol free. They don't contain the traditional sticky kind of crunchy resin. So if you're thinking, I don't go near mousse because it almost feels like you're ripping and tearing and breaking the hair as you're blow drying it. These aren't like that. These are totally, these are like mousse 2.0. They're a totally reformulation. So no alcohol, no sticky crunchy resins. They use a rosin that comes from a tree. So it's flexible. It gives you loads of body and bounce. But as an added little bonus, so though for those brunettes out there, okay, whether you go to a salon, whether you color treat your hair at home yourself, it pulls red when it fades and it drives our clients crazy when we're in the salons when they see red. So what this mousse actually has is an added bonus. It has a lovely teal color to it. Do you see that? And that teal wow. actually neutralizes any red tones that you can pick up in your brunette hair. Now, if you're blonde, your hair pulls yellow. It can dull, it can discolor, but it can kind of get these yellow kind of brassy tones. So now we have got a lavender <gasps> tone, okay, which neutralizes it. <laughs> oh, that's so it. cool. <laughs> now, I, I have to tell you, it was so funny, like Jamie backstage, I wish she could have a microphone on because I pulled out this mousse to style her hair earlier when we were backstage. It's the first time she's seen it and she like, she kind of grabbed me. She said, is that a mousse for blonde hair? And she genuinely said, she said, Giles, I have spent 40 to $50 trying to, she said, I've bought three mousses in the last few months. Every single one of them dulled my hair and discolored my hair. I don't use them. And you genuinely said that, right? And yeah. this is the thing because so many styling products out there actually don't have ingredients that are engineered to keep your color looking fresh and bright. Every single product right from our root cover up through our shampoo to all of our styling products are engineered to keep your color looking absolutely perfect from the day you leave to the salon to the day you come back. That's our, that's our goal, you know? So when we design these mousses, we noticed that that was happening. So first of all, the ingredients aren't gonna dull or discolor, but with that lavender tone, it's actually going to help that color pop. And you'll see that in the before and after as well. So I've put the kale on the ends, first of all. Okay. So now I'm gonna use the mousse. So I'm gonna just dispense it into my hand, okay? I don't need a massive amount because I'm just doing one section here. I'm just gonna kind of work it into my hand, but you'll notice it's totally different from a traditional mousse. It doesn't like dissipate into like water. It stays like light and fluffy. It's, it's so nice to work with. And the whole thing is as well, you've got to think if you go to a salon, mm -hmm. okay? And you know, you always leave the salon, your hair looks absolutely gorgeous, like fantastic. Think about it, that hairdresser always puts a product on your hair. And there is a reason for that, because we know, we're the hairdressers, we're in the know, we know what to use. And when you can have a mousse that you can take home yourself, that is so easy, because all you do with the mousse, which is probably why Jamie is desperately trying to find one, you just squirt it out, you just rub it in, and you put it through. And that's all I've done here. Now, you, the amount that you used on Jamie's hair, yes. is that the, like, would we section off our hair or would we just do all the hair at once? What's your recommendation, Giles, for this? It's a really good point and it really depends how thick your hair is. Okay. If your hair is really thick like Jamie's, I did. I kind of broke it up into four big sections. Sections. Now, I love my vent brush here, okay? Now, if you want a different angle, you can actually take your mousse, run it through a vent brush and actually pull it through. If you've got much thicker hair and you find getting that uh, kind of distribution of the product, but really just with your hands, it's easy. You just rake it through big sections, kind of from the root right through to the tips, 
and then you're ready to style. It is that easy to use a mousse, which is why people loved mousses. They just didn't love them because they're all sticky and crunchy and dry their hair and dull it. So, so here's the thing. We all love the effect that mousse gives us, okay? The mousses of 2017. Soft, beautiful, voluminous curls. Shiny hair is what we want. We want our color to look fresh, not brassy. Today, you have the opportunity to get home two of these Color Wow mousses in your color tone. So blonde, right? Blonde, obviously for anybody that has blonde hair, or maybe if you have gray hair like myself, <laughs> um, this would be great for you to help to, to remove any of the brassiness from lighter hair tones, okay? So that's who's gonna pick the blonde. But we also have the dark version, okay? So if you have darker hair, deep brown, um, you know, chestnut brown, black hair, and you want a mousse for, that's going to um, balance out the color and give it a nice tone, go for the mousse with the dark hair. Each one of these at retail is $24. That's $48 if you were to go pick up both of them. Today at Beauty IQ, $36 gets both of them home and we have it for you on six easy monthly payments. So it's just $6 to get it home and try it out for yourself. I've never seen a mousse that did this. It's so innovative, it's cool and it's exciting. And you know, Color Wow, I love the fact that, you know, I feel like 90% of the women in the world probably color treat their hair, okay? And I feel like Color Wow is probably the only company that I know of that's starting their development process of products from the color perspective and then fi figuring out all the solutions to styling your hair from there. So definitely pick this up and try it out for yourself. Um, go to beautyiq.com or call the number on your screen. Giles, let's see what you're doing over there because you've got another uh, brush in your hand. Are you gonna be blowing out Jamie's hair now? Yes, okay. I am. Okay. I, I, I love this, getting to do so much hair. It's, it's, <laughs> it's my favorite, you know? So what I've done, I've already set Jamie's hair, but I really wanted just to show everyone just a bit of technique on actually blow drying. Which is, which is quite important. And it's another thing, you know, when I have clients that come into me in the salon, they're always asking me questions. Oh, how do you do that? What brush do you use? So I use a round, real bristle brush. It's actually got a plastic bristle and a real bristle kind of mixed in. What that actually does, the plastic helps give me grip and the real bristle actually helps to give me smoothness on the hair. So first of all, what I'm going to do is actually roll the hair and get some bend into the hair when I'm blow drying it. And then I'm actually going to use a Velcro roller here, which are my favorite, okay, to actually support the bend I've put in the hair. Now, this is the thing that I think a lot of people get wrong. They kind of blow dry their hair really quickly, kind of straight, and then they put it in a roller and they take it out and they're like, why didn't I get any bend in my hair? And the reason for that is because you have to put the bend in first and then you use the roller to support the bend that you've put into your hair. So that's, that's the well, kind that of important thing. Yeah, so, that makes a lot of sense. Because you, exactly, so you heat it up first, get the bend, and let it cool around the roller, and that will actually set your hair. So I'm gonna take my hair dryer here. Now, first of all, I'm gonna get into the root area first, and I'm gonna dry it lifted, because I want to get root lift. So I'm gonna lift it up, and then when I pull the hair, I'm actually gonna roll it around the brush, okay? Which is actually going to give me the bend on the ends that I want. And then I'm gonna roll it down again and it's gonna give me the bend in the middle that I want. And then I'm gonna roll it down and it's... The, the main thing is really, Alberta, you've got to break the hair into three parts. If you want like body at the root, but you want really straight hair, focus on the root first. Get the body into the root first. I want bend all through the hair, so I'm starting at the root because I want root lift. And this is simple. Just take your brush at home, put it in, hold it, get good tension on it, and heat it up. It's not complicated, just heat it up at the root, lifting the roots. You've got to think to yourself, what do you want to achieve at the end? And I want to get lift. So when I take that brush out, there's lift in those, in those roots already. Then I'm going to roll it with some heat. I'm gonna heat up those ends because I'm getting bend around the ends because I want all this hair to be nice and bent. So I'm gonna see what I'm doing and I'm just, so it's not like overly complicated, like, oh my goodness, because you're pulling it and it's all falling out. Just gently roll it around the brush. Use a bigger brush if you find that easier. 
you know, and just very simply lift, heat, roll, heat, roll, heat. And actually once you heat and it's dry, that's when you put it into the roller to then, to then set it. So you just want to do that just a few times. Now, a good little tip for you, Alberti, is if you feel the hair and it still feels cold, mm -hmm. don't put it in the roller. Because you've got to think to yourself, evaporation causes cooling. So if the hair's still cool, it means water is still evaporating. So when you actually heat it up like this, and then you pull it out and you feel it, and I'm actually feeling the hair, oh, it's hot. So I'm like, perfect. Evaporation has happened. All the hair is hot. So I'm just going to heat it up one last time. Well, all I know is that I'm watching you do this and it is so mesmerizing. First of all, you've done it so quickly. It looks so gentle, this process. It doesn't look like you're pulling or tugging. It actually looks like it's, you know, true styling at its best. And that's obviously because you've been in the industry for so many years and you're an expert at what you do. And we're so happy to have you here. I have to tell you, Holly in our chat is saying, this guy is making me love him. No alcohol and purple is awesome. She's talking about the moose. She says, where has he been all my life? My answer was in the UK. Yes, and it's exactly what Jamie said to me earlier as well. Don't, and don't be scared by the tones of the mooses. The mooses are just very gently, very gently toned. So they're not gonna like change your hair color. They're only gonna help it. Well, so many people in our chat are just loving your tips Giles, so thank you so much. If you're just tuning in, you are watching the premier hour of Color Wow hair products here. We're giving everybody the ability to have great hair every single day with Color Wow, a brand that really focuses on you know, solving all the problems that people have with their hair. Number one, first and foremost, you know, the color. So many people color their hair and they want their hair color to remain vibrant and bright and to prevent it from being brassy, and at the same time, they want their hair care to be great for it. Color Wow does all of that. They've won over 52 awards in the four years that they've been around. Giles has been styling Jamie's hair. Um, we started with a shampoo and a conditioner. We used a kale cocktail, which was awesome, in this tutorial. Right now, we're showing you the mousse in action. Look at this volume. Yes. Wow. I know. And so I really wanted to show you as well. So this was the roller I just put in earlier just so I can just show. Can you see the amount of bent Woo! that's in that hair? Okay, so that is what I did just by rolling it and blow drying. It's smooth, it's shiny. Then I take the Velcro roller, okay, from the ends, just make sure you don't buckle the ends and just gently roll it down and then just get a little pin and just pin it. So that bend that I just put in now is cooling around that roller. That cooling effect is what's actually going to set the hair. Now you can already see how crisp and blonde her hair is looking. Yes. I, I kind of call it blonditis. I think everybody that's blonde <laughs> wants to be blonder. You know, everyone wants to be a bit crisper, a bit, a bit cooler, you know, so it's just well, gonna... have more fun. Absolutely, that's right. <laughs> that's what they say, right? But you know what? I think that um, definitely in the studio I can see it and also in the monitors I can see it. So I'm hoping that everyone at home can truly see that Jamie's hair has a crisp, beautiful, blonde mm -hmm. tone yeah. to it. We all know what that tone looks like when you leave the salon and your hair is freshly colored. It's bright, it's vibrant. You feel the perfect, the perfect color that you have. Today, you can now actually retone it every single time. You know, I've seen so many shampoos that tone your hair mm -hmm. and I never understood it because it's like, wait a minute, you just wash it back down the drain yeah, again. Exactly. Here, you're using the mousse to tone the hair. And you could see on the right. before shot on the left hand side, Jamie's hair is a little bit more brassy, has more yellow tones in it. Look at how crisp and clean her blonde is. And by the way, where did all this hair come from? I mean, seriously, look at <laughs> her hair before. I mean, it's thick, it's voluptuous, it's healthy, it's glossy. And it's not stiff. No, not at all. Look, I'm running my wow, hands through it. I have to it. run my hands through this because yeah. I've never seen Jamie's hair look like this. This is, wow. This is amazing. You feel that? It's not sticky. This is amazing. It's How do you feel? You must feel like a million bucks, right? <laughs> you look real. like you're ready for the it catwalk. It looks so good. Oh my gosh, look at this. It, it has so much movement. You look like a movie star, Jamie. Mm. And it's the thing about, well, we kind of just want, we want to make it easy for you to get the head of hair you've always wanted. 
Jamie wants 